Guys, we are going to look at one of the most unique knives that has come to the channel. It's done by Finch Knives. So let's turn this around and take a look at the Buffalo Tooth. All right, guys. I, like I said in the intro, I think I have for you one of the most unique knives that has showed up on the channel. This is the Finch Knives Buffalo Tooth. And when I say unique, I don't mean bad. It's definitely interesting. So this is a huge uh, flipper. Now, there is a, a traditional knife of this style. I just couldn't find an image. I know that Case makes one. There's several of them. It's not called the Buffalo Tooth. I don't know what it's called. But this is very, very similar to a traditional knife. But as always, Finch has done a really good job of bringing those knives into the flipping and modern frame lock realm. So this is jigged titanium. This is a... Uh, glow in the dark shield logo that's inset down in, the, in below this. So you've got this piece of plastic and then that inlay is down in there. It's done in a frame lock titanium 154 cm. So this won't be a real long video because I've only been carrying this for a couple hours, but I'm going to show you why it's so unique. So you can see the knife there. Let me grab you something for a size comparison. Just going to use the Benchmade 940 here, but you can see, look at the sheer dimensions of this thing. It's not like it's a big knife lengthwise, but all around it is huge. Let's get this out of the way and talk about this huge chunky thing here. So this thing does cut. I have to tell you, this thing cuts so well because this blade transitions on what's a relatively average blade stock. It's not super thin, but it's thinner than a lot of knives. But it transitions from here all the way down to an incredibly good edge profile. And it is so so sharp all of the finch knives have come incredibly sharp from the factory it has sliced through the cardboard that i had to cut up today really really well and it was thick cardboard it wasn't an amazon package it was another package of stuff that uh, my neighbor got and it was pretty thick and it just screamed right through it held its edge really well and it's got a really good cutting profile the way you hold it in hand it sits in the hand really well and it doesn't fatigue. So you can really do a lot of cutting with this without having to engage those muscles a lot. It just fills your hand really well. It is very comfortable to cut with for the most part. It has got a large flipper here. And then you can get up on that, on that flipper tab. I was curious at first as to why it had jumping here since you're flipping from here. But then I realized when I was using it, you can use that as a second grip and get up on it and do some power cutting through it even though you can cut really well from back here it's really comfortable like that up on it and then you've got a good transition so you have a sharpening choil that seems to me that it will be a good functional sharpening choil but it's not something really that's going to get caught on stuff for those guys that complain and especially if you're in this grip the blade transitions really well down through the grind and i gotta say it's ground really well and like i said so so sharp the handles on it are done in titanium. They are done very, very well. The jigged bone or the jigged look on this titanium is awesome. I'm a fan of jigged bone on traditional folders. And on this, they did a really good job of translating that. Sorry, I'm showing this side. Um, of translating the jigged bone look into the titanium. It looks really, really good. Um, the lockup on it is really good. It's got a really good smooth action. And the pocket clip is just about perfect in and out of pocket. It sits fairly deep, so you can carry this forward. And then there's no real hot spot up here on the transition of the uh, frame lock and everything. There's no real hard, hard edge or sharp spot. Really, really comfortable in hand when you're cutting. Pocket clip's not a hot spot. So there's a lot of good stuff to be said about this very interesting knife. And I do love the fact that they gave you the traditional nail nick left or right, even though it's not a reversible pocket clip. So that being said, there's a lot of cool things about this knife, but there are a couple negatives. So we're going to turn this around and take a look at the negatives after you guys hear from this video sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? 
Coffee brand coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out coffee brand coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout, or you can use the coupon code crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them and support this channel. So while I really do like this knife, I find it very cool and it does, I did get myself with that other knife. Um, the uh, only thing I can say, I'm bleeding a little bit. Uh, there's a few things that I can say about it. Uh, first of all, it's, I, I wish they had kind of softened that edge. It's not a hot spot per se, but you're definitely aware of it. Um, and it would have allowed you a little bit better access to the lock bar. Next thing, this thing is heavy. It's heavy for this size of a knife. It's heavy for, for a lot of things. And it just definitely feels kind of awkward in hand. It's got a weird weight distribution. If they had done some weight reduction inside the scales, I think that would have been a lot better in this knife. Um, next thing, it feels slick. It is unseasonably humid here in San Diego right now. And uh, I was with sweaty hands, I was doing cut, and it just, it felt slippery. It just felt a little slippery. I don't know if it's the finish on the titanium uh, or the fact that this jigged area gets you less actual surface tension, surface contact. It just kind of felt slick in hand. Um, in and out of pocket. Out of pocket, not an issue. In pocket, going into the pocket, your pocket material has a tendency to slam up against this. Not such a big deal in thinner pants like slacks or something like that. Um, I had on a pair of like chino shorts earlier, fairly thin, no problem. But when you get into something thicker, when you get a thicker jeans or like a set of 511s, it slams up against that and you can definitely feel it. And it, it kind of pulls going in pocket. And sometimes you'll think you're all the way in and you're only that far in pocket. And then the final thing is this takes up a lot of space in your pocket. It really does. This is a very... This is almost like something I think I would carry in a hip pocket, which is out of character for me. It is almost the size of, I mean, it, it's it's pretty big. It, it is pretty big. It's, it's like a small wallet and it does take up a lot of space in the pocket. Even if you move it to the front, if you're carrying two knives, this just definitely takes up so much space. It's hard to reach in your pocket. Other than that, like it is a great, great knife. I love the novelty concept of it. And as far as like cutting, this thing's got it where it counts. It really is a very, very good cutter. Listen to that action. I didn't mention that, but bang, really good action. So with that being said, it's my first day in carry. We're going to put this in pocket for a couple weeks, see how it is. But right now, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. Yeah, guys, I absolutely love this knife, but I can definitely see that there's some issues with it. This is not something, this is definitely fun. Uh, and a you want to talk about a good cutter, really, really good. But th there's definitely going to be some issues with a lot for a lot of people with carrying this knife not legality wise but it's just wow it's just big at any rate guys we'll carry this for a couple weeks and see how i feel about it as far as like cutting and things like that it's great uh but we'll see how i feel about it after you know a lengthier period of time i've only had it in pocket for a couple hours but it is fun guys if you want to support the channel give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down i don't care but if you do give it a thumbs down tell me why if you want to support the channel financially, Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail, they both have links down below with discount built into them. Tempered Trail is making indestructible, almost indestructible, I should say, laces for your hiking boots, your shoes, all kinds of different colors, different types, um, different lengths. You can order them custom. He's also doing hand-stitched leather wallets and kilties for your boots. Coffee Brand Coffee, guilt-free purchase. They don't support any political causes either way. It's a completely apolitical company. And they have a money back guarantee, 100% money back guarantee if you don't like the product. Uh, the, they also just launched their pumpkin spice line. I hate this time of year, but they did. Um, I also have a coupon code of crazy sharp that will save you 5%. It's all one word, crazy sharp. Save you 5% at checkout. Rosecraft knives, Fair and Forge knife works. I have an Amazon store down below. You can take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping you do. It doesn't cost you anything at checkout. And I have a tier based membership down below where everyone gets access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord, early access to videos when I post them, exclusive content, the baseline and premium tiers, 
have uh, are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server, and the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.